iOS 13 release, get Apple's Blockbuster iPhone update before its official launch. Apple's iOS 13 iPhone update was announced earlier this week and there's a very simple way to get it before its official launch. Apple has now officially revealed what exciting new features will be included in its next iPhone update. iOS 13 was unveiled at the firm's WWDC keynote earlier in the week and there's plenty to look forward to when it launches later in the year. One of the biggest changes included in the update is a new dark mode which will transform the on-screen look of your smartphone. This darker color scheme has been available on Apple's Mac computers for some time but now iPhone users will get a slice of the action. Dark mode will be available in all of Apple's apps and developers will also have access to this feature so expect more to follow. Along with that new look, there's also plenty of other extras coming in iOS 13 including an improved Photos app and more ways to edit your pictures and video. The Reminders app also gets a new look and will offer a more intelligent way to create and edit reminders plus there's the introduction of Quick Paths. This new feature brings easy one-hand typing to the iOS keyboard by continuously swiping through the letters of a word. If it's security that concerns you then iOS 13 will enhance things even further via the new sign-in with Apple update. Apple is introducing this more private way to simply and quickly sign into apps and websites. Instead of using a social account or filling out forms, verifying email addresses or choosing passwords, customers can simply use their Apple ID to authenticate and Apple will protect users' privacy by providing developers with a unique random ID. Finally, everything should be a little faster once this update is installed with Apple boasting that apps will load at a more rapid rate and face unlock should be even more seamless iOS 13 brings new capabilities to the apps you use every day, with rich updates to photos and maps, and privacy-protecting features like sign-in with Apple, all while delivering faster performance, said Craig Fiedrighi, Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering. We're excited for customers to experience what's coming to iPhone this fall and can't wait for them to see how great everything looks in dark mode. Apple is yet to announce an official release for iOS 13 but we expect it to arrive in September. However, there is a way to get it much sooner. Next month, Apple will launch its public beta which allows anyone to give this software a try before it arrives for real. If you fancy giving it a go you can sign up here at beta.apple.com with the US technology firm saying downloads will be available in July. It's worth remembering that as public beta software has not yet been released to all users by Apple, this is not the finished or final product. This means you shouldn't install it on your main iPhone or iPad with Apple strongly recommending loading it on a secondary system or device.